Welcome to Lake Nona. Proudly boasting one of the highest municipal city IQs in all of North America, this 17-square-mile community, contiguous to Orlando International Airport, is a flagship example of a modern, smart city. And it is one of today's most important templates for all industry leaders tasked with using technology to improve how cities and the people in them live. A smart city is an environment that uses technology to solve urban scale problems, but at the same time to remove friction from people's lives. In Lake Nona, we have three components that make it smart and responsive. The first one is we have great physical infrastructure. Lake Nona has everything from single family homes to the world's largest tennis campus in the same environment. So that's our physical infrastructure. We have digital infrastructure, which means that we have over 25,000 miles of fiber now, those two things would mean nothing without people. And that's the third layer that we have in Lake Nona. It's marked with a purpose. One of Lake Nona's most impactful partnerships is with Verizon and its provider partner in Seco. The benefits of the collaboration seemingly have no end, but it all starts with the number five and the letter G. So at Verizon, we believe in creating networks that power the world forward. And we saw a perfect opportunity here to partner with Tavistock at Lake Nona to bring 5G ultra wideband experience to power many of the cutting edge innovations that would be enabled in this co-working space uh, that we have turned up here at Lake Nona. What Insego brings to Lake Nona is that experience and the broad portfolio of mobile, fixed wireless and industrial products that will help the customers and partners of Lake Nona put 5G to work to create those next innovative solutions in an environment that you really can't find anywhere else. This flagship feature of Lake Nona's high-tech landscape is called the 5G Innovation Hub. The Innovation Hub location here is really a 5G-powered co-working space where this creates an opportunity for thought leaders, innovators, startups to get their hands-on experience to test and validate use cases that can be powered by 5G. We have fiber to the home, to every business, to every hotel room, and that provides speeds that are over 10 times the national average in terms of connectivity. It also allows people to work from home in a very easy way. As a matter of fact, even before the pandemic, one in four people in Lake Nona was working from home. The thing that we're adding now is we're adding a digital wireless infrastructure with millimeter 5G that will actually allow people to have the same level of connectivity when they're out and about. We are a living lab. And what that means is that we are actually able to put real world technology in front of people at early stages. Because of this, we're fortunate enough to be a testing ground for a groundbreaking technologies like autonomous shuttles that I actually see rolling all the time and behind my window. Our autonomous shuttle program is actually the largest fleet and the longest running program in the United States. We will be the host of the first uh, vertical takeoff and landing airport in the United States in a partnership that we have with Lilium. So you'll literally have flying cars. This is what creates this aerotropolis concept, which is a city that thinks of itself three-dimensionally with the airspace as part of the built environment. You know, we use technology to predict when our parking garages are going to be full and actually create opportunities for people to find other environments to park. We use technology to figure out how to staff the different businesses that actually exist in Lake Nona by being able to predict how many people will actually come to those venues every day. We have other technologies that are available here every day, including smart glass that is actually responsive to the outside environment, allowing just the right amount of light to be in, but none of the heat. Improving technology in a city's utility systems can bring significant benefits too, particularly in the areas of emissions and energy conservation. We're in a very, very interesting time in human history where we have to save our climate. Lake Nona is an amazing place. They have incorporated many, many different smart city devices, sensors, and back office analytics that allow them to really improve the quality of life for the folks that live here. Although Lake Nona was conceived and developed from scratch, any and every city can benefit from some level of technology upgrades to improve and update their own existing municipal systems. What enables us to be different is this private-public collaboration. We're part of the great city of Orlando, but we're also powered by Tavistock, you know, a private entity that is able to bring things to bear at private speed. And, and in this collaboration between the public and the private, we really create an environment where things can get done, and they can get done now. Because at Lake Nona, we believe that the future is here. 